They died heroes, 30 troops, including members of SEAL Team 6, killed when their chopper was shot down by the Taliban. So why did the White House invite a radical Muslim cleric to condemn them to hell at their own funerals? We've got that amazing story. What a disgrace. I well, let's talk a little bit about this. Back in August of uh, 2011, a Chinook uh, CH-47 chopper was shot down out of the sky where 38 uh, brave souls died, including 17 of our Navy SEALs. Now, the families and some other groups got together down in Washington and had a press conference talking about, they blamed the White House in some measure uh, for what happened. They say, look, they, they leaked all these details of the bin Laden raid and it put a target on their men and women, SEAL Team 6. They actually, I think, are making the accusation that somebody may have tipped off the Taliban to know mm. exactly where this helicopter was going to be flying. They also have questions about why that helicopter was actually in the air going to a particular rescue mission because they, they're questioning whether or not it was even necessary. Uh, there's a whole list of things that they are also seeking answers for. There also is this. There was a cleric that spoke at the funeral right. that evidently uh, that evidently came out and had some ugly things to say about Americans and these Navy SEALs. They want to know who booked this guy. Why was he allowed to talk like that about our people that just lost their lives? Uh, at the memorial for the families, uh, there, there was a prohibition against any mission, uh, mention of a Judeo-Christian God. And yet they invited this Muslim cleric to the funeral. And according to, and you're looking at the uh, certified video translation of what he said, he condemned the dead, the people who, the Americans who died, to hell. And he mocked the God of Moses. In other words, those men were mocked at their own funeral by somebody invited by our U.S. military. In front of their own family. So the families are uh, binding together. Right. And uh, they are demanding some answers. And we'll see where that goes. How does that happen? We will continue to explore that throughout the morning. In the meantime, the